Hello Virgo, this is Steph at Finding You Tarot and this is your weekly reading for the 7th to the 13th of August 2023. So without further ado, let's get into it. So Spirit, what have you got for Virgo for the coming week, please? Messages for Virgo, please, Spirit. Okay, five of wands. Messages for Virgo, please, Spirit. Messages for Virgo, please, Spirit. The Knight of Wands. Lots of fire here. Mm -hmm. Messages for Virgo, please, Spirit. In fact, actually, that card did, um, the, the three of wands came out in the reverse, and I don't normally read reversals, which is why I turned it the other way up, but I, it came out in the reverse. It wants to be reversed. So, um, okay. And anything else? Anything else, Spirit? Anything else for Virgo? Anything else for Virgo for the coming week? Okay, right. Um, and the Nine of Swords. And on the bottom of the deck, we've got the Ace of Swords. We've got the two, <laughs> the two of Swords, the Ace of Cups and the Lovers, and the Ace of Wands. <laughs> and under that, the, the, the Two of Cups. But we'll stop there. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, right, Virgo. Um, yeah, this... <sighs> This is <sighs> there's there's a lot of fire here and a lot of conflict, a lot of a sort of chaotic energy swirling around, and I think it's to do. Um, it feels it 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 feels like it's. It's to do with you being kind of kept in the dark um, over over an emotional situation. And I kind of want to say it's relationship um, related. Um, it feels we've got we've got the ace, we've got the ace of wands. On the bottom of the deck, we had the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Swords, and so it just it it's it's like you've you've wanted you wanted a new start with something, um, but it just it just didn't happen. It just didn't happen. You know, it nearly happened. I think I think you know something something came back into your life. But it was just the same old, same old. You know, it it was it was it was massively it was punctuated with conflict, and I think you know I I tend to read the five of of wands as a card of sort of almost repetitive cycles of of, of conflict. So I think it feels to me like this is something that you you know that if if you've been dealing with a, a sort of unreliable character in your life that this is this is a pattern that you have dealt with time and time and time again and you desperately desperately want the for this for this to work out but it just never does it never does it always leaves you stuck it leaves you unable to move. It leaves you in a state of anxiety, and it, and it, and it, it kind of it leaves you in in a, you know, having to stay in a state of denial, and I think spirit is, is kind of, spirit is saying enough, enough of this, you know, enough of this unreliable character, you know, if this if this is still going on it needs to stop if this person has gone away they can't they they just can't come back this this person is no good for you this this person causes causes emotional um confusion 
uh, emotional anxiety, um, drama like you can't believe, and and it won't and, and it will never change, and it it, it, um, it keeps you entirely trapped where you are. You know, the three of 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 wands in the upright is a card of you know you're moving on, you're moving forward, you're going, but you know when it's when it's reversed you just start you, you can't move on you cannot move on from this energy and you know and uh, but i'm i'm very drawn to the fact that this person that 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 this person here is holding on to one of these wands you know and so it's like you're kind of holding on to this thing that is so terribly terribly bad for you the virgo you've got to let let go of it you you've it 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 can it can never be healthy for you and spirit is asking you to make that choice and you know the 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 lovers card is is not just a card about you know innocence in love and everything it is also about choices and the you know the choices that we make in love and i'm i'm very i'm very drawn to the mountain here and you know this is mountains in the tarot are about obstacles and you know sometimes as a reader I will see them as surmountable obstacles and sometimes I'll see them as insurmountable obstacles but you know as I'm looking at this I'm what I'm seeing is that these people are, are trying to reach out and they can't reach each other this is just something that is not meant this is not meant to be. And yeah, it just, it's just like you keep trying and trying and trying with it. And it's like, you know, it's like this time, this time it will work. This time it is going to work. And it just never does. You always end up back here. You always end up back here and back here, you know, in anxiety, stuck, trapped in your own thoughts, wondering what did I do wrong? It's not you. It's not you. You know, this is this is just a situation that is not good for you. You cannot make this work. So Virgo, you know, this is, this is a bit of a grim reading, but, you know, spirit is asking you to take a leap of faith and let this go. Cause, cause we've got, we've got the death card and the fool card here. And, you know, we're, it's asking for a transformation. There is better for you. There is, there is something better and more appropriate for you, but it cannot come in until you have let go of this energy, you know, and, and <laughs> there is a recognition here that it is a deeply painful situation for you. But, you know, it, that I, <laughs> There's there's nothing here that says that this situation is 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 ever going to work. It will just deliver more pain, more anxiety, and more confusion in your life. And spirit does not want that for you. Um, I'm just looking at. You know, I just want to check where the Ace of Ace of Pentacles is because it's the only Ace that didn't come out, and so I'm always a little bit, you know, sort of suspicious when something like that happens. So let's have a a look and a look see at where that is and see if there are any. I mean, you know, the very fact that I'm thinking about that, I think, you know, that perhaps Spirit is saying just put a, a firmer focus onto, you know, your material world for a bit. And let let this just just place yeah place your yeah okay yeah place place your energies into into something that you know yeah don't if you can direct your energies in in into something you know sort of project with maybe other people um you know this is this is the the three is it's a card of collaboration but it's also a card of potential as well and so you know that would be you know it it feels like that would be a good thing to do it's about getting you out of your head i want to say um spirit would like you to you know it it feels quite this this energy feels a bit codependent 
and and almost like you're you're now in the habit of feeling the way that you do and you know and and spirit wants to break that for you now um you know a by being very blunt about this person that that this person cannot continue to come in and cause chaos in your life but also you know that that you you that perhaps you need to be reaching into new collaborations new friendships and that is your way out of this this loop this this thinking loop that has has you trapped so Virgo um oh, that's quite a heavy one um sorry about that but I can only read what the cards say um but um I hope that helps and um if you do enjoy the way I read please do like share and subscribe and thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it and I'll see you on the next one bye bye now